below. In uh, this video, I'm going to be talking about the line element that is used a lot in uh, relativity. And I'm going to show you a quick example of uh, Euclidean flat space. So, uh, so people who aren't familiar with uh, this notation can start getting a feel for it and uh, start learning how to manipulate these things. Uh, usually in flat space, the metric the components are usually given by the delta, but you'll usually see this as. And these components would be your G11, G12, G13, G21, G22, G23. And same pattern. G three two and G three three. Okay. And you'll notice how the these components are defined by the basis vectors dotted into each other. This defines your components. So you remember the dot product gives you a scalar and these give you the components. So as a quick example, let's look at these components. If you remember the dot product, when uh, they're perpendicular, it's equal to zero. So i dot i is equal to one. i dot j would equal to zero. And i dot k but equal to zero. And this alpha and beta are going to range between values one, two, and three. And <clears throat> in our notation, x1 equals x, x super 2 equals y, and x super 3 equals z. Okay, so let's Let's get some of these components. So G11 one, one. is going to equal D sub 1 dot D sub 1. Because alpha equals 1, beta equals 1. And that is going to equal 1, which is our I dot I equal 1 because e, sub, e sub 1 equals that the unit vector in the i direction and e super 2 e sub 2 equals the unit vector in the y direction which is j hat and e sub 3 equals the unit vector in the z direction which is k hat and of course G sub 1, 2 is going to be E sub 1 dot E sub 2, which is I dot J, which is 0. And you can see the pattern that all the cross terms are going to be uh, 0, and you're only going to get a diagonal right here, which survives. So the only non zero terms of the this metric are G11. One, one, G two two G three three which equal to one and all the other terms are equal to zero. So let's go ahead and uh put some of these things in to see if we can get our line element for flat space. So there's a a double summation here. Which means there's nine terms in this and as you can tell that would be a lot of writing, but you can do shortcuts. So let's see what this would look like. 
Okay, we are gonna let alpha equal one, and the only term that can be in here is when beta equals one. Otherwise, they're all gonna be zero, so there's no need to write them because those terms are gonna dis disappear. So beta equals one as well. So we got one, one, dx, one, dx, one. And the rest of the terms disappear. And we let alpha equal two and we're going to let beta equal 2 because those, these are the only indices that survive because when we have g sub 2, 2, 1, that's a 0 and that term doesn't show up so these are this is the only term that shows up g sub 2, 2, dx 2, dx 2 And we got G sub 3, 3, because we let alpha equal 3, and we let beta equal 3, because these are the only terms that survive. Because, uh, again, if we put G 3, 1, that's going to be a 0, and that's going to disappear. So we got dx 3, dx super 3. And if you remember, these terms are 1, this is 1, this is 1, and our x super 1 is our x variable, our x super 2 is our y variable, and our x super 3 is our z variable. So we got dx squared plus dy squared plus dz squared, which is our Pythagorean theorem, for flat space. So we got our ds squared equals so using the Einstein summation notation we've shown that our uh, line element that shows how nearby distances are related is uh, the Pythagorean theorem. And as you can see, using this uh, index notation simplifies our uh, our uh, math a lot because we don't have to write a lot of terms because a lot of the components of the metric are zero. So it simplifies it uh, a lot. And there's no cross terms in here. Uh, hopefully this gives you a feel for this uh, summation notation but these are nine terms you could write them all but again you're gonna cancel six of them are gonna disappear because they're zeros and uh, only three survive the diagonals because it's a it's a diagonal uh, and symmetric matrix